Ah, hello. Guys, nice. welcome everyone. It's Mr. Sim once again here. Finally, I am back. Today I am joined by GP Greenwood. Hi everyone, uh, glad to be here for the final race of F5 season. Bye. Really looking forward to this one. It should be a great race. Yeah, yeah. Um, once again, you're racing tomorrow in F6, aren't you? Yeah, so um, I'm commentating on F6 tomorrow night, uh, so yeah. Also, is the championship decider by me making some mathematical calculations. Uh, I managed to count up this. Trench Gun leads the championship with 86, no, sorry, 80 points to his tally belt. And Solar is 10 points behind him with 70 points. And that's really the battle for the championship, I must say. It's really between those two drivers. Down the grid, it's more spread out, but constructors are already one for Renault it, between Trench Gun and uh, Cosmic Wheelie. But today is the moment of truth. He will actually win the, the ch drivers' championship for train uh, for Trench Gun to win. He just needs to finish no more than 10 points behind solar and solar solar requires to finish third no sorry solar requires to finish second and trench gun outside the points or at least 10th for solar to win the championship by one single point so how do you think that will go well, he trench gun is obviously in the driving seat. Um, I have seen a few of the F5 races this season, and it seems he's, uh, well, he's obviously one of the quicker drivers out there, um, judging by his um, standing. So it's hard to imagine that he's not going to be able to, um, uh, not going to be able to um, do what he can, but um, unless he gets knocked out by um, an unsuspecting competitor. Um, he should do alright. Yeah, um... By the way, have you, uh, are you in the lobby? Because I'm not in the lobby. Because you've never been invited, I'll invite you quickly. Uh, <laughs> a bit of a, a problem here, we forgot... <laughs> we, for <laughs> we forgot Greenwood! <laughs> I thought something was wrong. By the way, guys, there's a new lineup for myself. Uh, no more, I'm using my TV. Basically, I managed to connect my beautiful uh, PS4 to my monitor, which is plugged in with my computer as well. So they're actually on the same screen now. Um, yeah. Really interesting. Which, uh, which cars we... Uh, Zauber. Right. And once again, I choose flipping Marcus Ericsson. <laughs> also, I have drink here with me. Because last time we were commentating, it was really problematic for me because... Um, I'm not gonna lie, I lost my voice after that. Uh, Jack Tyler says F6 will be more competitive tomorrow. Well, I'm not quite sure about that. I mean... The championship in F6 is more tight and it will be good to see a good battle for the championship between someone and uh, Banana Josh. But to be honest, F5 is a higher division and it will be more interesting to see how the drivers do. As it's really up to their standards. By the way, don't ask who levitates in the dark case, that's Max here from his another account, just for you to know. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I was expecting my skill level, I'm afraid, so I, um, I quickly abandoned that. So yeah, here we go at Abu Dhabi. The race forecast is dry, obviously. It's looking a bit dark on my screen, I think. Or is that due to the time? <laughs> yeah. Um, obviously, it's... I'm surprised, it, it, I'm 
I was going to say, I'd be surprised if there's any wet races over the team uh, now and day. Of course, it's a bit uh, different for me as I'm commentating not from my TV perspective, but from my uh, monitor. So that's a way different for me. That is so different. I'm not used to that. So, I mean, the quality of my monitor uh, and everything just looks way better. It's just so nice to look down on my TV. My TV was more wide, so. Uh, damage was kind of wider for me, but now with my monitor resolution, it's amazing. I'm loving it. So yeah. I would say 39. I think to get, I would imagine to put a banker up and to get a feel of the track uh, conditions at the moment because obviously the track is quite fresh, new and it will be a tough challenge for people just now to get used to the track temperature etc. But with time, with probably 5 minutes to go, the track will be on for the fastest laps to set. So yeah. Let's just wait to see. But of course, I'm looking for some really nice battling throughout the field today. Um, last season and season... To be honest, I'm going to be quite sad uh, with this one. Because this is final time on this game I'm, I get to commentate on F5. I've been throughout F5 since season 1. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I just realized Luke Bailey's on the controller now. Luke Bailey's on the controller. Hi, Thomas. Guys, this is Formula 5 finale here at Abu Dhabi. I'm joining here with Mr. GP Greenwood. <laughs> I was going to say Mr. Grumpy by accident, but... I got out of it, I got out of it! <laughs> so it's fine. Um, guys, this is going to be amazing. Not so much of a turnout, but the championship battle between Trench Gun in his debut season of PSGL and Solar is on uh, today. Eighteen six. That's actually good. But first seven Barnet um, oh no, is going to start his lap on supers and Blizzard. I've not seen him race yet. So it will be, uh, he's really a new guy for me so far. Uh, but 18-2, fairly fast actually, I would say. Elions, meanwhile, sets just faster. Elions went just a tiny bit faster. I would say it depends because, of course, with Ultrasoft being quicker tired, they will be wearing out earlier uh, in the race. But with Supersofts being nearly as fast, it's just three tenths. Well, for me at least, uh, the difference between the two tires. And I would prefer start on Supersofts to put them longer into the race to go for another set of Supers and then on Ultrasoft till the end of the race. Um, maybe people try and ultra soft super soft super soft you never know of course if there's a safety car soft tire is free to choose from and will be interesting blizzard says a 40.4 meanwhile elions is through the final corner and is going to be a 41 a 41 7 
So yeah, it results in soft tyres. And really, you wouldn't have got one lap to make, to make it count, really, to get a, a time. I'm not gonna lie. I saw him making. F I'm not gonna lie, I saw him making a uh, few uh, curbs bump over the course of his lap, so that will definitely affect the lap time for him. Uh, so he might have been closer, uh, that was Fini, Elions. Thomas Wivood, <laughs> Thomas Wivood really actually, <laughs> not gonna lie, that is actually true. Um. Oh look, Bailey goes really wide missing the break zone for the tight right hander, completely missing it and going really wide. Meanwhile, Max Sayer in 5th. Must be a scrappy lap in sector 2 and 3 because definitely 2, yeah. Uh, actually, sector 1 wasn't the slowest. Luke Bailey had a slower one, but uh, meanwhile, Levitating Duck or aka Max Air or aka the engine failure. <laughs> who, saw, who, who was watching Australia will know what I'm talking about. The people who watch Austria, uh, Austria, sorry, will definitely know what I mean. Oh, uh, yeah, Maldrovic! Maldrovic goes purple sectors 1 and 2. 18-1 and 41-8. Uh, on ultra soft compound of tire, he went a bit wide though here, uh, which will not benefit his uh, lap time, but coming up to the tire right-hander where Luke Bailey completely went wide. Mulder which actually takes it really nicely, so goes a bit wide on the entrance here, that will benefit him maybe half a tenth to a tenth of his lap time, but coming across the final two corners, Moldrovich is looking good for provisional pole position here in the evening at Abu Dhabi. Here he goes, across the line, that is second three times slower than Blizzard. Ah, uh, it, it, trench gun, trench gun meanwhile. Have a look at Trench Gun. 17.9 Sector 1. Oh, that's a great lap, that is, isn't it? Uh, great lap, Sector. But he, does, he makes a slight mistake here. It won't benefit him, but from Sector 1, I think he can. He can take that. He can still take that. But it still costs him time. And 41 8. He goes even faster than Luke Bailey. Look, Bailey. Oh, Levitant in dark. Could have been second. That was Max Air. He had an invalid lap time. That is so unfortunate for him. He could have been just in second just now. But meanwhile, uh, can I hear GP well? Uh, can you pay your mic volume up, maybe? Really? Hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah, you have to turn your mic volume up because people can't really hear it. or hold on guys And trench gun trench gun goes first at 39 8. So what I was saying uh, you go to party settings uh, And then adjust microphone volume and you pay up Thanks, Eggy, for letting us know uh, that. Right, okay now. I'll check on the stream myself now. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, I just checked the stream. Apparently, you can't. I uh, people can't hear you now at all. <laughs> yeah, uh, I just checked the stream. Apparently Hold on. You can't, I, uh, people can't hear you now at all. Yeah, uh, I just checked the stream. Apparently, Hold on. you can't. I, uh, yeah, you're. I don't know what's going on. Hold on, guys. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, no, it's not because I'm using a monster. And Solar, you're an idiot. No offense. You're an actual idiot. Uh, I think I might have sorted it now. Solar just said he forgot to load us up. Uh, yeah. I think I've got it now. Yeah. And Reese goes second with Purple Sector uh, 2. Sorry, no, 3, sorry. Right. Uh, Guys, can you please sell us if. Guys, please sell us if you can hear. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> I think you have to turn your volume mic all the way up <laughs> to maximum. <laughs> Just hold on a second, guys. Uh, how did I do this? <laughs> Technical issues, please stand by. <laughs> Power settings. Party audio. Where's Solar, by the way? My microphone is bright and dark. Okay, there's a thing. Solar... Where's Solar? He's on the lap. 18-2, Sector 1. Right, on, um, on the audio devices thing, it says input, head connected, headset connected, controller output, headset connected. That's, that's why, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, okay, hold on a second, I know what's the problem. Just hold on a second, guys. Oh. If you would know the problem, you would be actually laughing. Because the point is, as soon as I turn my mic off, people can't hear you, but when I have my mic on, people can hear you, which means they can't actually hear you from the party. I guess I have to go behind my monitor for a second guys, so I won't a be able to see anything on the track, so please just stand by. Oh, bloody hell, can't see anything. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, right, try this, <laughs> this should be better. Hopefully. <laughs> Call Sky Sports. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sunday, but yeah, not too much. Okay, and we need to restart. We need to restart the session. <laughs> Uh, oh, I forgot to turn my notifications off as well. Okay, guys, I'm server. Just hold on, please. I was not prepared at all. This is uh, amateur hour. <laughs> what? <laughs> Right, hold on. Uh, output settings. No, that's video. Jesus Christ. Audio. Which one's which? Jesus Christ. Is this something? It should be um, device settings. Say something. Hello. Try now. Hi guys. <laughs> guys, we are retarded, don't worry. At least me. <laughs> Broadcast. No, don't stop, you idiot. Audio. Uh. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I've tried to do something, but the new session has been made up, and we're free to join. Are we good? We've got a tire, we've got to make it a start new session. New session has been made up and we're free to join. Yo! It's Christ. Say something? Hold on. Yo! Say something? Hello? It's Christ. Okay, okay, um, I think this is better now, at least something better, but it's not still 100%, but at least you can hear him better, uh, I think you can at least hear GP better, uh, we just have to stick with what we got, to be honest, I know how to make the game volume less, because it only goes up to 5, which is quite stupid, uh, Yeah, um, this is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, um, we don't. We're not doing justice to the uh, to this very important F five race. Um, <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, I can. Um, hear. But here we are. We don't. We're not doing justice to the uh, to this very important F five race. Um, <laughs> but, um, <That's> true. <laughs> I actually sorted this out. It's fine, guys. I got this. Yay! We can only apologize. Yeah, for my retardedness. <laughs> like usual. <laughs> Nothing changes in time. <sighs> guys, nothing changes. I've been stem. I will keep myself a stem. Nothing will change in my life. I always have some sort of fails. Oh, oops. I forgot to turn the volume off. <laughs> I said I'm a failure. This is it. What you call an epic failure. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, per one shot. OSQ. But guys, tomorrow we will have F6 on our channel, uh, and it's going to be fun as well. You get to see me race. Um, I shall be going for glory. I um, used to race GP. We had so much battles on track back in season one, eh? Yeah, really, really good stuff. <sighs> Yeah, oh, hi Rash, yeah, we, we are restarting because Solar's, uh, Solar lost connection to PSN, so we have to restart. I think everyone's here, we're just waiting for Reese and uh, Max to choose their cars, to be honest. Yeah, they must be having a, uh, what you call a comfort break. By the way, guys, uh, can you please tell me if you can hear GP quite well in the lobby? Because what I've done is I put all the volume to go through my headset. So... This is not fun, to be honest, because all I will... The point is, is that I will now have the game sound and uh, GP. At the same time, so the two will be mixing each other up. I hope it won't matter. Well, the first thing is uh, Reese didn't get to choose his car in time, so mm -hmm. who knows what car will be in. It's still fine. I'll just give him points to the car yeah. he has. By the way, happy birthday to Ash for tomorrow, and all the best of luck for his race tomorrow. <sighs> So yeah. No, Solar just lost connection to PSN. It does happen. It's just this thing. Uh, if you're uh, sometimes your game just doesn't like you and just decides to give up on it, <laughs> give up on life. By the way, guys, I'm going to do, show you my setup from Abu Dhabi. Use it, <laughs> yeah, it's free, <laughs> you don't have to pay me anything. You don't have to pay me anything. That was lame. Wait, I just realized I should have named his thing. Why are we, are we doing one shot qualifying? Yes, and I'm on a pad. Oh, right. You can try and you can watch me trying to do a lap. On a pad with medium traction control. <laughs> it's not going well. If I would have been on the wheel, I would have been there on top. So, um, yeah, as I was saying uh, previously, uh, this track um, has got some, uh, it's quite unique. It's got some high curves on it, and particularly um, where the, sh the chicanes are. Stim for pole, yay! Yeah. <laughs> not on a pad. Never Thomas on a pad. But Solar is actually leading! Solar from Blizzard, from Reese, from Moldovich, from Notorious LIP, from Aliens, who's in 6th, Trench Gun is down in 7th on Supersoft. It's still not given. Uh, the hope for. Oh! And we have a change of lead, it's Blizzard! From Reese to... Uh, this is actually... We scum. We scum. This is going to be close, this is going to be close. Reese or Blizzard, Reese or Blizzard, it's... Blizzard. What?! Blizzard! Oh my god, look how close this is. Look how close this is. This is actually so close. Wow.
This is actually went so close. Blizzard takes pole position at Abu Dhabi from Viri's and Solar in third place to round up the top three. Notorious LAP will be starting in the fourth place and Molderwich will be in fifth. And championship leader Trench Gun is going to be in sixth on Super Sub Tire. Then Alliance and the Fire are going to be on fourth of the grid with Jack Seller and Luke Bailey round out the top ten. And we have to advance. Well, uh, I think Trench Gun can be a bit upset. And but he's on Supers. He's on Supers. Yeah, it's still, he put a blistering lack in the Ten. last uh, session, but obviously... Guys, just once again, saying the statistics. Uh, Trench Gun leading with 80 points, and Solar is second with... How much did they say? 70 points, so the 10 point gap. For Solar to win, he needs to finish second, and uh, Trench to finish 10th or lower, which is unlikely to happen, to be honest, I don't think. Uh, so, just pure luck can save Solar, but here we go, 2 sub strategy, super soft, super soft, soft, for those who started are on soft, super soft. And we have to leave the session. When do you retire? Uh, we'll leave the session. Just now, and then we rejoin. Alright, I'll retire now, man. Yeah, fire is pretty good on tire, uh, tire wear, but let's rejoin back. Meanwhile, this should be a good race, I must say. By the way, if there's a safety car, we take over the cars and we retire in the pit. Oh, I need, I need another invite quickly. Are you? Uh, add me yeah, to friends. Add me to friends, and then uh, join for me, or add uh, for anyone. If you have solar, in, in, join for him. Oh, I haven't got. I haven't got anyone like that. Oh, hang on. Um, uh, send me a friend request. I'll quickly do it. <gasps> I've sent you one. Have you? So just join from my profile, you should manage to join, I think. Well, I think it lets you. Used to before. I need to put that I'm not offline, though. Or you won't be able to join. It's been over a month I haven't commentated, guys. So it's quite weird to be back. But we are back. And I'm happy with it. Right, you should be able to join now. I think I'm pretty much in there. Do drop some long lap. And there you go, you joined. I'm not gonna lie, on a monitor the game looks way better. I'm not gonna lie. Down on TV. That won't work, trust me. But guys, hi everyone who's just joining. We have over tw 10 people watching, that's amazing. And uh, we're here for Formula 5 finale. Solar against Strange Gun, third and sixth places. Strange Gun leading by 10 points. Let's go up to the front. Looking at Solar with five red lights. Coming out here at. Come on, please. Here we go. Five red lights at Abu Dhabi go, 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 are go, off, go. and Reese has a really good start on Blizzard. So does Solar. So Blizzard, not the best of the starts. Reese up the inside. Contact has been made between the two. Trench guns oh, off. No. And is that Solar on the inside? Yes, it is. That's Solar on the inside. And he completely swa. Oh, Solar's in the wall. But no front wing for Solar. Oh, Solar, no front wing. Oh, levitating darkers fan round. Ah, oh, that's a disaster. And he almost collected the um, notorious. Notorious. And our cars are inside of each other. Oh, uh, Solar yeah, must be so now. frustrated just now. And currently, Trench Gun is in the championship position. 
So, uh, good start. Yeah, hi, Big C. Uh, but he's under a lot of pressure already by Blizzard. This is a... Uh, Solar, obviously frustrated in the chat and uh, saying to Blizzard underscore you. <laughs> I think everyone understood it to be honest. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of understandable for Solar as from championship position he just got basically taken out and that puts Trench Gun into the comfortable lead over Solar just now. Solar will have a lot of work to do. Meanwhile, Moldervich is around the outside of Jack Tyler, defending hard from the Manor Driver and uh, Moldervich taps the wall. Alliance is in seventh behind Jack Tyler and Luke Bailey is just there in eighth. Jack Tyler's gone wide. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Brilliant English. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 21 people watching, what's... I have to take a screenshot, thank you. Solar goes in the pits with no front wing. The solar will be a big time behind. Both streams got retweeted by Cody's. By the way, hi Fesh! Jack Tyler up the east end of Moldervich into the hairpin! The touch wheels and he will get the better exit of Moldervich it looks like. But Jack Tyler will be on Rich Mix and on Ultras of Tyre. Will he try and duck in behind for the slipstream? Elions. But look at this, Elions has a slipstream on Jack Tyler. Jack Tyler defends really- Oh my oh no. god. He's, what has happened there? That is a... A strange one really to um, crash there. Oh. <laughs> I mean, now, Solar will be back into the points. Well, yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh, Blizzard has taken the lead. Oh. Missed that on camera. Unfortunately. But where's Reese? Reese oh, gained his back. He's been taken back again, yeah. It's Blizzard right behind him with Trench Gun and Fair not too far as well. But Blizzard into the right-hander. Oh, Fair tried to go up the inside of... Trench gun there at the background, but not just far enough. Yeah, Fish, that was a really odd one. Um, I would say Elion's just never expected that much of defending from the manor driver. I think it was just unexpected for him. Yeah, there's a strange place to. And crash Fire 7 there. Barnet sets up his fast lap of the race 44.573 from the Toro Rosso. Obviously now the trench gun goes wide, but obviously what I was going to say, we're in a DRS uh, now. Now, um, uh, bring back this, DR this track, the DRS zones are uh, uniquely placed. So if you manage to, um, uh, before you get to the chicane, you're then um, subject to another DRS from the person who's just overtaken, which is a bit harsh really, but hey, that's the layout of the track, I'm afraid. It's true, but look at this, Jack Tyler is on attack on Moldovich with the DRS as well, I believe. Hmm. Blizzard looking like going outside, not going to work on No, he's too far, he's too far. Trench gun looks like the opportunity there. And look, let's go back to Blizzard, as he will be having DRS on... And safety car has been deployed out! Safety car, Lap 3! Lap 3, and now we have to retire our car, so we can just take control of our cars. So that's good for the um, ultra-soft runners. Uh, they can um, make a pit stop. Oh god, my wheel just decided to calibrate itself. I think I took out. I think we took our cars a bit too early, to be honest. Oops. Oh well. Now this is uh, a bit strange for me because I'm trying to uh, drive this car with no brake assist. <laughs> Turn the assist on then. <laughs> Baby car, it's restricted. Oh yeah, damn it. No, it should be allowed in F5. But there we haven't. That's why I didn't race. Ah, okay. Oh well. Yeah, I thought it was a bit strange, <laughs> but there you go. God, it feels so weird to be on a pad. Oh, that's what I... <laughs> <laughs> And you know the worst thing is? Yeah. This stream has been retailed by Codemasters. At least no one saw it. <laughs> You sure about that? <laughs> hey.
And now we just retire in the pits. There we go. There we go. And Trench Gun actually takes the lead of the race. Oh. So, Blizzard pitted for softs. Could this be a potentially right call for the Toroso? That's what I wonder. So, uh, let's have a recap of um, who's in what place. Oh! <gasps> Blizzard! <laughs> this was so close. Blizzard okay, nearly uh, slammed into the back. Got the recent fourth place. Oh, it's fifth. God. Jack Tyler sixth. Notorious seventh. Solar, I didn't even race in F3 to be honest. Uh, so, obviously, the safety car is uh, great news for Solar. I mean, it's good, still going to have a lot of work to do from there, but I mean, that's. Uh, you could have wished for anything better, really. So, uh, Blizzard, Reese, uh, Moldovich, Jack Tyler, and Torres, Bailey, never taken Dutch. Solar's made two pit stops. The trench gun and Barre, uh, only ones not to pit. Right, uh, but I mean, they have self super soft, but. Yeah, that should last to about um, 9 or 10 in the safety car. I uh, do want to make a talk about Moldovich here for a second. I was impressed with his lap in the, in the last session before it crashed. Um, oh, Blizzard's off white. Yeah, um, but I remember Moldovich uh, last season F4. He was all over the place. You know, I remember even wiping me out in Germany actually. So uh, he's obviously made uh, a lot of improvement in his time in F5. Yeah, true, but. Let's actually look at the warnings so far in the race, see if anyone... Uh, Elion's had some... Uh, Luke Bailey, Max Thayer have... Well, Luke Bailey just stopped goal penalty, but Levitating Dax or Max Thayer, whatever you prefer calling him, actually has a drive for penalty for speeding under safety car. And then Greenwood... Oh, and then Greenwood just beating the pit lane. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... So it gives us an opportunity to look at some of the um, helmets. Uh, there's an interesting helmet design from some people there. Yeah, some pretty, uh, That's actually, a, I think. I like Ferris, Ferris helmet, it's actually really nice. Yeah, and then cool. Trench has a nice one as well, I'm not gonna lie. Jack Tyler's helmet, not too bad actually. Would have been better if it would have been blue instead of uh, green, but not too bad itself. Notorious one is actually really good. I like those colors. Like, literally, you know what it reminds me of? Go on. It reminds me of our uh, Irish flag. It's just really does, if you look at it. Interesting. Uh... Hmm. Not too sure about on myself, but <laughs> oh, Max's is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually amazing. And Solar's one, I think he had it for the entire season, to be honest. Still pretty cool, to be honest. Yeah, I think mean, yeah, it's still pretty cool. But Max gets the helmet of the day award <laughs> if you have such a thing. Actually, Elion's was actually pretty good for the Haas as well. Mm. But yeah. So you really, you think this might be the last lap, but... Uh, of the safety car? Yeah, I think, it, I think it will be. If not this lap, the next lap will definitely be the last one. Because lap came out, uh, the safety car came out lap 3.
Uh, Thomas GS says in the chat, hopefully we can add the calls on the helmet on F1 2017, so yeah. people can add uh, flags. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> So really, what Trench Gun needs to do now, I think he's not going to have a chance in hell against um, pulling away from Blizzard and Reese. But if you go back to uh, Moldovich in fifth place, if Trench Gun can get a gap between um, him and Moldovich, um, and then he should clear the traffic before it and get a decent, some decent space for his pit stop. And Solar said in the chat, quite sad actually to hear that, this will probably be my last ever PSGL race. Well, um, emotions run high, um, you're fighting for the championship and you get um, knocked out in the first corner. Um, but is, you're not on lap six. Um, it's lap still a long yeah. way to fight. It's a long way to fight through. Yeah. I mean, we saw... Oh, when was it? 2012 Abu Dhabi, Sebastian Vettel starting all the way from the pit lane and then That's getting right. his way onto for uh, podium step. But I can understand uh, Solo being frustrated, but I'll probably be an overreaction to say. Uh, I mean, if, I'm assuming. Oh, it's not because of that. It's, it's not because of that. He was planning on to making it, like, to leave. Oh, right, okay. Let to be honest, he did leave at the end, no, at the start of last season, I think, and then came back for this season. Okay, but the safety car will be coming in this lap, and we have a Toro, yeah, so two right. free. And to be honest, Trench needs a good run out of this corner. Yeah, guys, we need to put some laps, uh, and there he go, and there we go, the restart. There's the restart. He, him, and Blizzard need to make their uh, calls out if they want to win. Actually, no, fair. Sorry. Yeah, that's a very good start by trench gun. A very good start by trench gun. Indeed, it says. But meanwhile, Jack Tyler is still at the back of Moldovich. He's been there for ages. But meanwhile, Le uh, Levitin is in dark. Yeah, Levitating Duck makes a mistake and now Solar is just there. Solar gets past his teammate Max there. Uh, not sure if that was team orders or just pure mistake from Max. I would say a pure mistake and loss of speed to uh, driver behind. So, Solar up into P9. Let's go to watch this. Well, they're quite a far gap from each other. Uh, they were, they, I think, um, fair pulled out a bit of a gap there. Notorious, meanwhile, is looking close to Jack Tyler. Jack Tyler hits the bump. Well, Notorious have a bad run. He looks to. Meanwhile, Moldovich pulls over to the right-hand side. The Ota line for the next... Uh, on the second ZRS straight. And around the Ota here goes Moldovich in it. Or also, Reese oh, tried to... Contact, contact, contact. Reese tries to go for a gap. But Moldovich gets the move done. That's a very ballsy move by Mordovic, very good stuff. But Trench Gun uh, looks to pull up a gap now. Being but like Solar, good Solar is up into 8th. We'll have to keep a close eye on Solar because he will be trying to get fast as, uh, as fast as he can back on top there. Uh, so we'll have to watch out for him, uh, what he can do with this but I meanwhile fourth all over down to eight having a ding dong battle this is a five car train if not six cars two four five five car train right here levitating ducks making his pit stop he's only going with the softs Oh, okay. Oh, Jack Tyler makes a huge mistake and now Solar what's a move Notorious is getting past him as well Jack Tyler tries to squeeze in oh, down the inside. No. He went for gap. He he went for gap that was not there at um, all. Well, what I can say about that is that his driving is about as good as his coming. And what? Hey, thanks, Jack. 
So there's the tide. Oh no, what has happened? We've missed that. No, wait, 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 wait. Okay, uh, let me watch this back quickly. Let me watch this back. Uh, basically, Reese just took Solo out. Oh dear. Wow. Migrating host. Oh, we can't. Oh, that's not good. Even session, really. Even a host. But there you go. That's what's happened. Um. So. Yeah. Um. Obviously, he's not going to be happy. Um. In his final race, of his PSG PSGL career. That will definitely be the last one now. The Toro Rosso's uh, been uh, stuck together like glue uh, this race. Uh, yeah, true. Quite true. Moldovic has pulled out a bit of a gap now from Reese. <sighs> I think what else is going to be interesting, really, um, is the, the Reese. Notorious update instead of Mal uh, Luke Bailey for P6. Levitating Duck is coming to the pits again. I can only assume this must be a drive through. Yes, it is, yeah. Another drive through? Yeah. Reese, re really aggressive defending, to be honest. Really aggressive. Trench Gun has made a mistake somewhere because the Toro Rosso is a rather. Oh, whoo, whoo, whoo. Oh, this was really close call. Notorious went on the bump of uh, the right. Hander and Luke Bailey was just behind him and nearly a crash happened, but Luke Bailey and Notorious managed to keep it clean. I think um, Trent Gun's soft tyres, uh, super soft tyres, are not into getting to the end of their life now. Um, the Toro Rosso's are right behind them. Oh, Notorious got past Luke Billy. Wow. A ding dong battle between them two. That's a Moldovic, just not too far away from uh, Trench Gun. Yeah, that's impressive stuff. So there's a gap, uh, there's a battle between Reese, Notorious, uh, Luke Bailey. And Jack Tyler, that is a mistake. He's uh, trying to play catch up now. So, uh, yeah, Toro Rosso is just out of the DRS range with Trench Gun, but they're still close enough. Reese swears all over around the track for defending. Well, obviously, uh, as per rules, you can only make one uh, change of position. But um, whether these rules get, um, you know, enforced or not, I don't know. But Moldovich um, looking to jump on the back of the uh, Toro Rosses now, but he's on the super softs and the uh, and uh, Blizzard's on the softs. Toros are still stuck together. Why is this? Yeah, Reese and uh, Luke Bailey are close together. Change gun stays out again. No, oh, I'm a bit surprised about that. Uh, Blizzard looking a lot closer now. Maybe looking for a dive down in the hairpin? Possibly. Down to the hairpin. Uh... Oh, yeah. No, not you know. But obviously you'll get DRS. Who are you looking on? I don't get it. 
Oh, it looks a lot closer now. Got to get it, it was done. He uh, breaks the slipstream, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Oh, Blizzard! No, what oh, what? Oh, I, I oh. can't believe what I've just seen. Have I just seen the same thing? Uh, that is... VSC, well, what's going on? <laughs> we we have got to be excited. Be excited, try to move out the slipstream. And uh, tried to blink the slipstream, and he's obviously just gone a bit too far. And but Blizzard was ghosting. Blizzard was ghosting on my screen. Yeah, I didn't see that myself, but. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, that's uh, another one, Bites of Dust. Another victim of the same wall. <laughs> so. Um... Trench gun, really, I think this would be the best time to pit, but, um, yeah, I'm just... I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, if Trench retires now, <laughs> it won't matter, Solar's out of the race, and there's no point. Well, no, but you can always still be racing with Pride. Well, yeah, but, for the championship crown? Yeah, it's gone into the pits, it's gone into the pits. A good time, probably, as well. So, Jim, does it take the lead? Moldovich stays out. Reese is in. Reese is in. Reese is in. Strange, he's on the soft tyres. So well, a bit strange time to pit, really, but. Yeah, I think. Um... Trench gun, as it stands, has got this race um, sewn up at a minute, but like I said, not not even halfway through the race yet. No way anything can happen. I'm not gonna lie, I feel so sorry for Solar. Like, really sorry for him. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, it's racing, isn't it? Um, these things happen, it's um, frustrating that it happens, but. Uh, you just got to brush yourself down and, get, and carry on and look forward to the next race. Uh, but uh, I've been on your final PSG race, that's uh, probably a bit more gutting, I suspect. So, Moldovich is only three seconds behind in the super soft tyres, but like Trench Gun, his um, tyres are coming towards the end of their life. Meanwhile, now. Blizzard and Moldovich are first 1 2 with Luke Billy in first, so it's a 2 3 for McLaren. So it was a yeah. 2 3 for Torosa the Star, now it's for McLaren. Great. And um, Trench Gun fourth. Um, as a McLaren driver in F6, I always like to cheer on the McLaren drivers and mm -hmm. the other formulas. Wait, how... Right, we'll talk about it tomorrow then. The... Or at least after the stream. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, the lap time around here is so long. It's 1 minute 40 something. Yeah, it's 145, 146. For F6, <laughs> not for F5. <laughs> Let me tell Max Sayer though, we were safe and a half that was. So, um, looking down the field, it's all a bit spread out now, isn't it? But we do only have uh, eight runners. So, it's, it's to be expected. Ah, <sighs> yeah. And I have the audio glitch. Great. <laughs> oh well. So, um, really, it's all about doing uh, qualifying laps, really, because there's no battles on track at the minute. True. 
Fair has left. Fair's left the session, we'll back, bring out the car. And actually, we'll have a battle real soon. Trench Gun is getting close to Luke Bailey. Yeah, so I've seen that, yeah. Beautiful helicopter camera on with Luke Bailey. So uh, Blizzard hit it on lap four, and now we're on lap uh, 14. 14, half a good race. Uh, how, how, how long do you reckon the soft tires are going to last? By 18, 19, something like that? Obviously, you had to take the car as well, so that would help. So then I guess it will be uh, super soft to the end. See um, the Bailey and trench gun look close together. Oh, that's uh, trench guns already got past them. Even oh yeah. The, uh... What? Uh, I didn't. I didn't even see that. I was on a TV broadcast no, camera. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm not sure how he got past. I was on a TV broadcast camera. And ma the game must have not let me. Must the have been off the camera. DRS, but it too far back, I'd say. There's a yellow flag um, flashing on the DRS, so. Can that, does that mean they can't overtake? Wait, what? <laughs> on the main. On the, on the long straight, uh -huh. there's a yellow flag. So that must mean they can't overtake. Uh, Molder Bits comes into the pit lane, and that's 15. Oh no! What's he gonna do? What's he gonna put on? Softs? Oz Look, Bill's in the pit as well! McLaren, McLaren double stack! Uh, let's see what happens. No, the drive through, wasn't it? No, the, the double stack. Oh no, sorry. He, oh wait, that should have saved Luke Bailey because he had a sub go penalty as well. Oh, Jack Tyler's coming to the pits as well. So it's interesting, me. Um, Moldovich went onto the super softs. They're not going to last um, to the end of the race. Um, so I imagine it'd be a quick stop for the ultra softs to, to the end. Meanwhile, we're more than halfway through the race and not a lot happening on just now here at Formula 5 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Well, no, we had all action in the first uh, 10 laps or so, didn't we? So, <laughs> a lot of action. 
I feel like that trench can easily catch up to Blizzard right now. I think he can. Yeah, I think um, Trent is just going for the motions, really, isn't he? Um, unless something dramatic happens, I think he's got this race um, in the bag. But I never said the car oh, was possible. Ah, uh, by the way, Luke Bailey versus Jack Tyler for P6. Luke Bailey tries to go up the inside. Jack Tyler just leaves him enough space, which I should have. Which actually was pretty good. I must say. Oh, Jack Tyler goes oh, really wide. Though. Quite wide. Interesting uh, line there. <laughs> Hi, Marcus. Yeah, Luke Bailey is all over the back of him. Maybe dive into the pit. No, no. Well, he's obviously going to try uh, get through the uh, DRS. What? Wait, Fish, what do you mean, no son? Hold on a sec. Okay, okay, I know what he means. Oh, look, Bailey! Ha <laughs> ha, Alonso! He just done Alonso! Side by side, wheel bagging! He just actually did Alonso. But Luke Bader will get double double DRS. Oh, it's on wide though. <laughs> a bit wide. Jack Tyler really defends him off well. A bit of wheel oh, contact. Yeah, contact. Thank God, no. I have to say, well defended by Jack that was, I think. Well, from the manner at least. <laughs> That's all we can see. I mean, Jack can sometimes be a bit little of Aggressive who is defending, but he um, did okay there. I mean, this kind of. I don't know what is this, but Luke Bailey is wearing Alonso helmet and he was trying to move that Alonso used to do. Like the f fake to one side and move to the other. Which I actually uh, now started doing as well. <laughs> but Jack Tyler still tries to defend really well. He tries to defend yeah, from Luke that's... Bailey. That could actually be a good battle for a while. Well, I think it's the only battle. Oh, Jack makes a mistake and lets Luke Bailey really close. But you two. Oh, oh Jack goes oh, wide. Yeah. Yeah. That's all she wrote. Oh, I suppose Jack here probably was get the place back in the DRS zone, but uh, more sensible would be to just say that's what he said. Yeah, I think Luke Bailey seems to be pulling out a gap. Will Jack get close to DRS though? That's what, my question. Still, that still that yellow flag there. That's, I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, well, he'll get another day at DRS, he'll get another chance. Jack Tyler, he seems to get closer, he seems to be getting closer to Luke Bailey. Well, he's got with DRS, so he's bound to be, isn't he? Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, trench gun has caught Rob to the back of um, Blizzard now. So another battle we're going to be witnessing. Uh, well, I... I I dare say, it won't be too long before Blizzard would need to pit. We're on lap 19 now. I'm guessing you can um, get the Super Soft to the end um, from here. Guys, just to remind you, tomorrow Formula 6 Championship Decider as well will be fun. Will be quite fun. It's some will say, uh, some might say the most exciting formula on the uh, PSGL calendar. Most probably wouldn't say that, but. Uh... <laughs> Good joke! <laughs> yeah. I would say the most interesting one is F3. Uh, I've been enjoying a lot of the F1. Um, uh, FP was, uh, has been interesting, but that's all um, sorted out now. But, uh, I think Jake won it, didn't he? Good. I think Jake uh, got it, didn't he? 
Jake, Jake won on uh, Tuesday night, yeah. Yeah. Well, congrats to Jake then. He was actually racing just now. Yeah, but... congratulations, Jake. It... Oh, he's racing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, Jesse, well done, Jake. You deserved it. Knowing myself. But trench gun and blizzard. This is so wide. This is staying up for another lap. I'm not gonna lie, I think trench will have to put some as well. <laughs> um. Luke Bailey and Jack Tyler are still close together, but... Levitating Duck, he's miles off. <laughs> but he's going to score some points, so that's good. In fact, he's... Uh, oh, on my, there, on my monitor, the Red Bull looks absolutely amazing. Oh. All the cars look amazing. I'm not going to lie. I don't know, I think Trench Gun can get to the end of these. I think he's been pushing a bit too hard. <laughs> Jack Tyler's retired. What has happened there? Knowing Jack, Illuminati wow. happened. Oh, Trench goes wide. Another one bites the dust. That's taking us down to seven now. Well, um, I, I said the joke earlier, but I'll say it again. But obviously, his uh, driving is about as good as his commentating. Wait, what? His driving is about as good as his commentating. <laughs> sorry, Jack. What, sorry, Jack. Didn't, didn't. Wow! <laughs> Savage, right there. But meanwhile, the trench gun is right in the back of Blizzard. Shots fired. Shots fired 100%, guys. <laughs> trench gun at the back of Blizzard. I predict yeah. them to pit in the next two laps. Well, Blizzard most certainly will. I'm, I can't believe he's carried on um, as it is, but um, Trench, I reckon he can go to the end. Blizzard moves to try and defend his position on the middle of the track. That means Trench Gun will have a better run. Looking for yeah, a cutback. Oh, actually, look at this. He got. He nearly gets a cutback to on, work. Oh, beautiful helicopter camera at the same time! And Trench Gun takes the lead of the race. Oh, Blizzard likes it there a bit. Blizzard has to back off. Nearly contact has been made, but Strange Gun takes the lead of oh, the night. Difficult to try and um, get around the outside, and that actually came, but he's done it. Mike says, Good evening. Hey, Stim, you're back from holidays. Uh, yeah, we can say that. Strange Gun's gone wide. I think Blizzard must have to pit now, and yet yeah, he does, yeah. Stuart something push the seat, done it earlier. But he can go on to the super softs to the end, I think. Or will he try the ultra softs? He will definitely go for ultra soft because they can, yeah, there we go, ultra soft. Yeah, six laps, so yeah, probably about yeah, get there, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've had a helicopter cam, all bloody race, I'm a bit annoyed about that. Interesting, Reese had a really good start of a race, but he seems to have dropped back for some reason. He must have had a bit of a tangle here and there. <laughs> Fourth place. I've just been asked a question if I will be commentating FP on Tuesday. Yes, I will be.
So yeah, it's a uh, yeah, bit of a boring race to watch at the minute, but um, it is what yeah, it is. True. Wait, Mike, uh, what's your PSN if you're in the Williams? I can't remember. Hey, eh, oops. <laughs> but yeah, um, what was Paul's time here? It was a 39.9 in a one shot quality, I think it was, wasn't it? Uh, yes, it was, yeah. Yeah. A 39.9. .9. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, Mike, never recognized you. <laughs> yeah. Fails do happen. Uh, yes. <laughs> it is indeed. And Moldovich. Moldovich is going into the pits. In the second place. Uh, he's obviously got on the ultra softs. But you know the funny thing is, I feel like Trench will run out of uh, tires. I really do have a feeling. Because oh, look how, look at the tire wear. Look at the tire wear. It, the will. It doesn't really matter now, anyway, does it? It's all um, said and done as far as the championship goes. But um... how far is Blizzard? Twenty one point seven, twenty point nine now. So Blizzard is definitely catching up with five laps to go on the uh, PSGL F five belt on this game. Also, guys, well, I do. Uh, stretch gun to pit now. But it's up to him, obviously. <laughs> he will still win. Uh, by the way, guys, I do have an announcement to make. One, I ordered a new pedal. Okay. No, <laughs> I have a girlfriend, you idiot. Uh, one, I ordered new pedals, but second, uh, there's PSGL Street Championship going on from 25th all the way to uh, end of July. Which I'll be commentating on alongside Jake, the FP champion this season. So <laughs> it started off on this game in PSGL, commentating with Jake, and it's going to end the same way. So I'm quite happy with that. And also, my birthday is during the Street Championship. What's a street? Uh, street championship. Yeah, what's a street championship? Like, it's all the Wait, tracks that are like a street or uh, semi street. Right, okay. So that's basically Monaco and Singapore. And back here. It's. Uh, Mike, you racing that. Do you remember the concert? It's Australia, Monaco, Baku, Canada, Singapore, Abu Dhabi. And what else was there? I wouldn't say Abu Dhabi was a street circuit, but um, there you are. Well, it kind of is because it's built around uh, Abu Dhabi. It's what? It's built around uh, the hotel parts. Like, there was no track before. They had just had, like, just hotel areas. And they actually changed yeah, it. Uh, and Russia, that's yeah, it. Most... By the way, how can I forget Russia? It's right on my birthday. I forgot the track that is right on my birthday. Well, if we're um, going to be making announcements, I'll uh, make one myself. Um, I'll be at the Milan Grand Prix uh, this year. Milan? Um, which, uh, <laughs> yeah, Monza. All oh, right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's in Milan, sorry. Uh, which will be my second, uh, second race of the season I've been to. I've already been to Montreal, so... Uh, yeah, looking forward to Monza. Should be a great uh, race. You have to get me photo uh, pictures. Yes, um, there'll be pictures. <laughs> Basically, what me and Greenwood will do, if you're okay with it, uh, when Greenwood gets all the videos and pictures back, um, actually, that's a good idea to make, to try and implement. Meanwhile, the darkness gets into the lights of Abu Dhabi. Um, what we can do is like a vlog of how your trip went, so I'll do all the editing yeah. and then you can like talk over it if you have uh, stuff like Vegas on your computer. The only thing I was um, concerned about going to Monza is uh, um, 
missing the PSTO race. Um, but obviously, when I was in Canada, I missed the actual Canadian PSTO race, uh, which was kind of hell. <laughs> but um, I won't be missing any Grand Prix uh, because they um, do not start until mid September the next season. <sighs> So, um, anyway, back to the race for the time being. Uh, Moldovich is fourth, Reese is third. Reese's tires are going off, so Moldovich will be catching him an absolute treat. Trench Gun is just I leading. Think, yeah, so I was going to say, um, I think on, on lap 25, it's unlikely he's going to pit now. But Blizzard is catching him. Blizzard is really the, catching him up. It's 15.6. Well, 15.6, uh, yeah, you're not going to catch out in three laps, though, are you? Unless he gets a puncher. Well, that's a possibility, I suppose, yeah. Because I'm going to talk about a person just now. He got a puncher on the last lap, which cost him a few positions in the championship. This person's in the chat. You definitely know what <laughs> who I'm talking about, the person. So, <laughs> yeah. He got a puncher on the last lap, and it cost him uh, championship positions. So there seems to be an upcoming battle uh, between Reese and Moldovich. Reece really is on soon. Softs and Moldovich is on the um, ultra softs. So the purple against yellow. Yes. They're racing the 99 car with uh, Moldovich and Jensen Button's car. 22. <laughs> so yeah, lap 26 out of 28, we're coming to the final few laps of the championship deciding race with Trench Gun leading the way and receiving 16 more points to his talent belt to make it 26 at the point as Solar has DNF'd and this automatically means that uh, Trench Gun is F5 champion, he just has to cruise around for the final few laps and that's it. Yeah, it's been a bit of a um, anti-climax, particularly with um, Solar's problems at the beginning, but um, you make your own luck. Um, all of it's going a little bit wide. But he's uh, he's right on the uh, on the back of uh, the oh battle. look Bailey went completely wide. So obviously this battle I'm watching now between Reese and uh, Moldovich is the, for the final uh, podium position. And meanwhile, there's still ba a battle at the back. Uh, Luke Bailey against uh, Notorious that will be quite soon. So Moldovich must be in. Um, uh, with the DRS um, zone now. So he has two laps to overtake the, Merce uh, the Mercedes driver. Just two laps left. Can he make it? R he goes for... I think Reese must be um, running a bit of a low wing there because he seemed to uh, extend it a, a bit there. Yeah, I think he... Oh my... Oh, I missed that. Oh, the, the camera angle was a bit rubbish there, but we missed that. Uh, I think Reese must have made a mistake. Uh, he went out of the corner, and right before the DRS zone, he stopped really fast and voiced it, actually. Oh! Dear me, Reese, what are you doing? He's basically just cut the whole chicane, and then he just rammed in the back of Moldovich. Uh, I don't know if he's any ring damage or anything, but... But basically, yeah. he just stopped and cut it across Moldovich, like, really fast. Moldovich escaped him somehow, though. Lucky for him. Yeah, not good, uh, not great driving there, but... Um... Moldovich just has to <laughs> just <laughs> try and pull away as fast as he can now. Uh, but Notorious actually is catching up to Luke Bailey. 
for P5. So, we're on the last lap now. Um, and like I said, it's been a bit anti-climax, but uh, we had some good battles. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Trench Gun is just going down the straight. Oh, and look, Bailey seems to have problems with his car, and Alatorius is getting really round the Oza. Here he goes. And that's P5 for Alatorius, but he loses the back end on the curbs. The high curbs just cost him P5. And Luke Bailey defends like an absolute boss just now, trying to defend off from the Ferrari driver up the inside of the hairpin, going to car cross, and that's P5 for the Ferrari. <coughs> But now, with nothing else to happen, I think we can go to our sl ra And there he Yo! There goes the puncher! On my screen. Trench. Oh no, that's that's a that's a time glitch. Never mind. Yeah. He's got, it was really about 9 seconds, so uh, he's very comfortable. But I Trench is PSGL Formula 5 World Champion! Abu Dhabi winner and F5 champion, that's great stuff. Blizzard going to cruise home in second place. Very well done for Blizzard. <sighs> wow. Uh, Moldovich will take the uh, the final podium place, that's a great result for him. For the McLaren as well to finish off the season for P on the podium, P3. Notorious 5th, uh, Bay 6th, and, and Levitating Duck, or Max Air, whatever his name is, he's gonna... We just uh, have to wait for a while, we just have to wait. The place. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, if someone put a kettle on, you can play, uh, <laughs> have a cup of tea by the time you get back. Who should be banned for that? <laughs> That's the question. You can do uh, interviews after the race? Nah. Alright. I'm running out of fuel! Max Air is going to cross the line. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Wait, what? He's um, didn't make any difference um, to any pitting positions. Yep, so and there we go. That's Formula 5 season done and dusted. Trench gun, um, Formula 5 champion, Renault, constructor champions. Yeah, so if you're all training for F6 tomorrow night, it should be a barnstorm of a race. Um, I'm sure I'll win. Yes, Mike, there were safety cars. Yeah, one safety car didn't uh, make too much difference to the race in the end, really. But yeah, that's been it for today, guys. What a race. I'm not gonna lie, I feel so sorry for Solar. Like, really. Yeah, he um, got banged out, um, didn't he, in the first lap. Uh, he did make a bit of a recovery, but um, yeah, we didn't see what happened to him. But um, well, I didn't. Anyway, I saw. But, um, <laughs> it's on the stream. Don't worry. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's very unlucky. But yeah, guys. But um. I... Go on. No, I was just going to say I think Trench Gun probably would have won anyway. If I'm going to be honest, but. Um... Yeah, we'll never know now. Yeah, but guys, the three long seasons of Formula 5 on this game have come to its close. I've been commentating F5 since I dropped out of F4, came into F3, and since season 1 Singapore, I've been commentating F5 all the time. It's been amazing. To be honest, I'm going to miss it because kind of bond with the league of 5-5 itself. Um, 
and yeah thanks fish uh guys this has been it for today we'll see you tomorrow for formula 6 greenville will be there racing um possibly get a, some f uh, a nice idea i have in my head just now actually for tomorrow night and for on tuesday will be for my performance so yeah It's been it. Formula 5 yeah. is done on this game. Guys, we'll yeah. see you tomorrow. On Tuesday, we'll see you in, uh, at the end, on the last week of July. On the last week of uh, July to see the street championship. It's been me, Mr. Stim96, once again here with GP Greenwood. Thanks a lot. Have a good night and goodbye till tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.